Hello grade 11! In our previous lesson, we talked about the different types of intermolecular forces of attraction. Today, you will learn how these forces affect the properties of molecules. Our discussion will focus on the learning competency, explain the effect of intermolecular forces on the properties of substances. Now, the properties of molecules depend on the type and strength of their intermolecular forces of attraction. Let's start with number one, solubility. Solubility refers to the ability of a substance to be dissolved in a given amount of solvent. Recall the rule like dissolves like. When the solute and the solvent both exhibit the same intermolecular forces of attraction, they form a solution. For example, water and ethanol are polar substances. They both exhibit London dispersion forces, dipole-dipole forces, and hydrogen bonding. When mixed together, they form a solution. On the other hand, gasoline and water do not have similar intermolecular forces of attraction. The only attractive forces present in gasoline are the relatively weak London dispersion forces and these forces cannot significantly disrupt the strong hydrogen bonding among water molecules. Therefore, gasoline and water form a heterogeneous mixture or they do not form a solution. Next, we have number two, phases of molecules at room temperature. When molecules have strong intermolecular forces of attraction, they are packed close together. They often exist as condensed phase, solid or liquid at room temperature. When molecules have weak intermolecular forces of attraction, they are far apart from each other. They often exist as gas at room temperature. We also have the melting point. Melting point is the temperature at which the substance changes from solid to liquid. Stronger intermolecular forces means greater amount of energy is needed to break the attractive forces between molecules. Substances with stronger intermolecular forces of attraction have higher melting points compared to those with weaker intermolecular forces of attraction. One example is melting sugar and salt at the same time with the same amount of heat. Sugar melts faster since it has weaker intermolecular forces of attraction compared to salt. We also have the boiling point. Boiling point is the temperature at which the substance changes from liquid to gas. Similar to melting point, stronger intermolecular forces means greater amount of energy is needed to break the attractive forces between molecules. Substances with stronger intermolecular forces have higher boiling points compared to those with weaker intermolecular forces of attraction. Try to put water and oil in an open container and expose it under the heat of the sun. Then observe what happens to the water and oil. Which do you think will evaporate, the oil or the water? The water since it has weaker intermolecular forces of attraction compared to oil. Next is surface tension. Surface tension is the tendency of a fluid to acquire the least possible surface area. Molecules with stronger intermolecular forces will exert greater cohesive forces and acquire less surface area or higher surface tension than those with weaker intermolecular forces of attraction. Get a basin with water and try putting some paper clips or needle on the surface of the water gently. Observe what happens to the paper clip. The paper clip or the needle will float because of the high surface tension of the water molecules. We also have viscosity. Viscosity is the measure of a fluid's resistance to flow. Molecules with stronger intermolecular forces have greater resistance to flow and thus 
higher viscosity compared to those with weaker intermolecular forces of attraction. When you put oil and water in an inclined plane, which will flow faster, the oil or the water? The water, because oil has higher viscosity or resistance to flow than water. And we have the vapor pressure. Vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by a vapor in equilibrium with its liquid phase in a closed system. Molecules with stronger intermolecular forces have less tendency to escape as gas and thus lower vapor pressure compared to those with weaker intermolecular forces of attraction. When comparing the strengths of intermolecular forces, check the difference in molecular weight. If the difference is too large, then generally the molecule with greater molecular weight has stronger intermolecular forces. Otherwise, you may use the following strategy. 1. Check which molecule exhibits hydrogen bonding. This molecule will have stronger intermolecular forces. Number 2. Check which molecule is polar. Polar molecules have stronger intermolecular forces. And number three, compare London dispersion forces. More massive molecules have stronger intermolecular forces. Consider this example. Which is most likely solid, fluorine or iodine? Both fluorine and iodine are nonpolar molecules. They exhibit London dispersion forces only. Because iodine has higher molecular mass, it has stronger London dispersion forces. It is most likely to be solid. And indeed, iodine is solid while fluorine is gas at room temperature. And that's all for today. Shout out sa tumulong sa akin ngayon kay Sir Bernard na naghahawak ng prompter at kay Sir Ninoy na nagmamanage ng camera. Thank you for watching!